Oh yeah, I kind of noticed something, guys. So, the title for episode 8 is, um... I'm an adult. Let's do this! Oh my god, that is an awful drawing. Wow. If I said it to another child, that would be very mean. But I'm saying it to Monica. And unfortunately, Monica gets a uh, pass for that because she's a terrible human being. Oh my god, she's dressed like a Nazi. All for the supremacy. <laughs> wow, Monica has really like hit bo um, rock bottom with these jobs now. Now he's a bartender now. Jeez, but to be fair, that Monokuma looks like a boss. Oh my god, they're all so disappointed. They're like, uh, guys, I'm not too sure I'm hugely fond of this new management taking over. Alright, so how are you going to play in this? Monica Hitler. Okay, I think I've come to the conclusion that weird characters die in this f here don't actually um, reflect how they die in the show. So I'm guessing the, all of these are red herrings. So it's not saying everyone will die. It may say that some people may die, not others. Side feature 7. Ultra Despair Girls. Yes! We're finally going to see them two in action again. Oh boy. Oh, hello! Ah! Ah, it's you, Nagisa. Ah, I forgot about you. <gasps> oh my god, they're alright as well. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were got... I mean, we, we saw them get taken away, but I didn't know if they were still alive or not. I figured they were just got killed or beaten to death or something. But nice to see they're all, all alive. Don't worry, Nagisa. Oh my god, it's you. You're here. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, I see what's happened now. I'm guessing uh, now that they've been uh, evicted from the uh, Monica's little gang. They've kind of just been fending for, for themselves, I guess. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Maybe <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not in favor of child abuse, but I think she does a good spanking. To be, if I'm if I'm being honest with you. Oh, this is why I like Kamaru. Oh, oh my God! They brought back the thing as well. Kawabunga, dude. You know, Toko, you do realise that every time you do that, you do make yourself dumber, right? Oh, the go oh, oh, hang on, that's interesting. In the English dub, her name was Genocide Jack, and when I played the games, her name was Genocide Jack, but I, I, read, I, I did some research and found out that in, the, in Japan, uh, the translation is actually Genocide Shu or Sho. So, I guess, this, I guess since it is an anime, so they've, they're going with, the, with that one. Oh, he's so cute. I think your waist just fine. Oh wait, I should probably say that she's like 16, isn't she? Oh, is that a bar, Monokuma? Yes, nice. I know my games. <laughs> Man, I forgot how like passive aggressive genocide is is to Kamara. She's like, oh yes, I hate you so much, but I also love you as well. Oh no, 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 no! no. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Please no. Oh no. Oh, to be fair, she does look good in a red, in a red dress. Somewhere in the future, in this arc, <laughs> Tagami is cringing as he senses someone is like literally thinking of him. Oh, what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, Toko. Honestly, if Joko doesn't succeed, maybe Toko and Tagami will succeed in... Fulfilling the genocide. Oh no! Oh no! Toko, please stop. Oh my god, she's gonna get wet. <laughs> oh my god, he actually did it as well. I think Toko needs some uh, help, I think. So, is Monica in charge of this? I mean, I, I think it's trying to insinuate it is. Monica Tower! Oh my god, she really went for the rebrand. I mean, yeah, who? <laughs> Why wouldn't she be in the building with her name on it? <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Oh. I mean, no, this can't be it because I have a feeling that they're gonna get through this. So Monica can't be the traitor behind it, can she? Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that uh, they'd actually get through that either. I thought we'd actually at least see some sort of action scene getting through it, but. I guess the Ultra Despair girls are way too good for them. <laughs> oh my god. Kamaru, you're so mean. Oh, I recognise those robots. I even got Gundam all of a sudden. I'm watching Witch for Mercury now, so I'm really in that Gundam game. But is she though? I'm not too sure about that. 
because I feel we got, we're getting into this way too early than we need to. Oh my god, what is with those spaces? Don't worry guys, if you believe in truth and friendship, we'll all make it through. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, I'm very confused. What's going on? What is that? I think they're taking this merchandising thing too far. <laughs> I think I know what's happened here, guys. I think puberty hit Monica really hard. So let me get this straight. I like how she's just hand-waving away that the fact that she has killed her family, she killed hundreds of people, tormented her brother, and tormented all her other school friends because uh, of this thing. And now she's like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> oh, that was you? Oh, I was wondering why. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't make sense for like the traitor to do. Why would he actually do that? But... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Nag of course Nagito would do it. Like to be fair, he put he put anyone off. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Monica? Obviously you're being a sloth now, but you're gonna have to find something to do with your life. You you can't just spend your time sitting in this van trying to play video games and just making a uh, room a mess. You should try to aspire to something. Maybe there's something you'd like to do or something, but uh, if you need someone, give me a call at snowlog at businessadvice.co.uk. Ah, so the mystery is still afoot. I kind of figured it would be. Oh my god, he's gone full, full on despair. That's the old moniker I know and love. Oh no, it's going to be Makoto or Kirigiri or Asahina. I'm going to say Kirigiri. I feel like she's the most likely one because... No, it has to be Kirigiri because... Makoto is the ultimate hope and she, he, obviously has, he, obviously, he obviously has feelings for Kirigiri. So if she's dead, then he'll just fall down into despair. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. Ugh, can we stop with the fart jokes, please? Uh, I didn't agree to these modifications. Uh-oh. Oh, well, why, how, why the hell did you... Two to decide to join, you're gonna die. You can't because you're gonna die. Oh, I kind of feel bad for Monica in a sense because I feel like maybe the fact that she was groomed at a young age to become despair and now she's been put off by it by Nagato. Now she essentially just has nothing else. I don't know, I guess Monica will find a way after she spends her life sentences. I mean, is she gonna be able to get. Back down. Yay! Yay! Helping! Helping! <laughs> Who knows, maybe she'll come back and adult and she'll be all regretful of what she's done. Then again, I can't blame her. Her parents were, were like absolute terrible people. Oh, I just realised like, now that, to go, now that um, uh, Monica's gone straight into the atmosphere, who's piloting that thing? <laughs> Um, not exactly uh, Atahina, but close. Ooh, now that is a very familiar sight from the last game. Oh, who is it? Oh, no, don't leave me with that! Oh, no. I'm gonna card and stop. Yikes, 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 yikes. Jesus. Okay, so that was Danganronpa episode 7 of the Future Arc, and that was pretty good. I mean, it's nice to see Komaru and Toko again. It's because I remember from the last game, they were so amazing in their development. Oh, and I loved every single thing about them. Like, they were just so good. But now here, and it's nice to see that uh, we managed to uh, see some, some other familiar characters, like the uh, little ultimate hopes or ultimate despairs, if you put it that way. And Monica again, but it's such it's an interesting development now all of a sudden. So it's like who else could it be? So it has to be someone that's inside the building and I don't know who. Because my um, because I was putting my hopes on it being one the old man because he seemed more suspicious. And I find it funny that the anime is trying to say, Oh, one of the people will die uh, because of Makoto because what they're trying to do is try to make um, Makoto feel ultimate despair. I guess in for revenge against Junko maybe 
or trying to or a last ditch effort to spread despair by just making the ultimate hope fall into despair like they did with Izuru. I think I know who and it's gonna have to be Kirigiri because we know that Makoto and Kirigiri have something to get uh, some feelings together so it would make sense for them to go after her and that part where um, Kirigiri just op sees someone open the door oof I don't want to know who is coming in and I, I, can't, I can't imagine who it could be or oh, it could be the boxer dude that is going to be it today guys thank you so much for tuning in I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you, and if you have do drop a like and do leave a comment on what you guys think of the episode but yeah thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next episode so see ya